Hi guys and welcome to Hit Tuesday with Coach Liam. Uh, today's workout is going to be a Tabata. So how a Tabata works is you do 20 seconds of an exercise, a 10 second break, into a 20 seconds of an exercise, and then back into 10 seconds break. You'll do four different circuits. In each circuit, you've got the two exercises that you're alternating for that 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds break. Uh, you do each exercise three times, so a total of six six kind of sets or reps per circuit, per exercise. Um, so I'm gonna give you a demo of each exercise. So in, uh, in circuit one, it'll be a power jack and a ins and outs with our feet. So a power jack is like a jumping jack, feet together and we go out and squat down and bring our legs back together. So if I can show you from the side, you're gonna squat down, and bring our legs back together. That is a power jack. In the same circuit, you will do ins and outs. So feet start together, they go out and in. We go as quick as we can, landing on the ball of my feet, bending my knees slightly. So we wanna go quick, ins and outs, ins and outs. Quick, core tight, everything else nice and still, moving ins and outs. Okay, that'll be in circuit one. In circuit two, it will be lunges and butt kicks. So lunges being a nice long step, left leg lower to the ground, back up, core tight. Okay, I alternate that for 10 seconds with the right and then 10 seconds with the left. Remember not to be traveling forward, you want to travel down, core tight, squeeze the glutes and working in a straight line. So I don't want us to lunge like that, I want us to lunge in a straight line, down, back up. That will be alternated with butt kicks, so hands on my, my glutes, standing upright, and I bring my heels to my bum, and I constantly just keep bringing my heels to my bum. We're then going to go to circuit three. Circuit three is burpees and slides. So the world famous burpees. So you start in a top of the push-up position, plank, feet to my hands, jump up, back down to the top of the plank position. If you want to make it a little bit more difficult, you can start from a push-up, jump up and land. We'll alternate that with short slides. So it just needs to be in a short area, maybe two, three meters. And we're just gonna go knees bent, bum back, tight glutes, core. Then I'm gonna go sideways, sideways. Just keep shuffling, shuffling. Okay, try not to stay upright. So we don't wanna see that. More lower, engaged, hamstring engaged, go and go. Okay, that's in circuit three. In circuit four, we're going to do a squat crunch and a mountain climber. So, we're going to go into a nice deep squat, feet shoulder width apart, weight on my heels, push my bum back, squat. As I come up, knee and elbow go together. Back to the start position, down, squat, back together. So we're doing abdominal and leg work at the same time. When you're squatting, remember, bum back, deep squat, knees behind the toes, running straight, Let's stand back up. Let's try and prevent, let's try to prevent ourselves going into that rounded back position. That is a squat crunch. Then, we're gonna alternate that with a mountain climber. Top of the plank, rotate knee into arm, back, knee into arm, back, knee into arm, and back. So, those are the four circuits. You would do 20 seconds of the one exercise, take a 10 second break, 20 seconds of the other exercise. You complete that for three rounds and each exercise gets done six times. When you break between circuits, you give yourself a minute. So you know, circuit one, take a minute, do circuit two, circuit three, and then circuit four. Good luck and enjoy. Supple Leopards and welcome to part two of Core Ab Flex. As of last week, we've got a session on core section on abs and a section on flexibility. Each exercise will be held for 45 seconds. You will do them for three sets. Um, obviously you'll take a little bit of a break in between each is a little bit slower, more towards engaging your core, using your abs and then work on flexibility of lower body. So the first three exercises for a B core will be, first is a side plank. With this you'll do it, alternate on each side. So lie on your side, 
left arm here on my leg. I'm gonna raise myself up, and look to create a straight line. I want to try and get my shoulder and elbow in line so that I'm not reaching out. So there, those that want it slightly more difficult, you may lift your left arm or left leg and hold that position. Try not to sag those hips, keeping them in a straight line, really working on their obliques. Obviously I can rotate over to the other side and hold for another 45 seconds. Lift arm up and I raise to the sky if I want your arm here. Okay, engaging the core, keeping it nice and together. We're now gonna also work towards all of the lower back. So we would lie down flat, hands out in front of us. Raise arms and legs out and hold that position for 45 seconds. Lowering back down. If you're really struggling with that, you can always raise up with just the top half holding your core tight. Final core section would be a boat hold. We're going to a seat position, 90 degrees. Raise legs up, straighten, put the other arms out straight and lean back into it, okay? If I want it to be slightly easier, we just put my knees at 90 degrees, and just hold that position, really engaging the core throughout. That would make up the core section. The ab section would then be three different exercises. It would be a sit-up, a heel touch, and a bicycle sit-up. The first exercise would be a sit-up. So we would go down, feet flat on the ground, 90 degrees, lower myself up, and touch my ankles. If you prefer, you can also put your hands behind your ears, down, sit up, touch, all the way down. If that's really difficult for you, what you can do is just go into a crunch. So a quarter, down, quarter, down. Nice and controlled on the way up, and lower ourselves down. The next exercise we're gonna do is a heel touch. So we're just gonna raise our back off slightly off the ground and rotate to touch my heels, okay? So I just come slightly off the ground, Rotate, touch, touch. So my body is sliding the entire time whilst controlling. So touch, touch, touch. Maybe the exercise two. For those, we would do 10 setups, 10 heel touches on each side, and then 10 bicycle crunches. So go to a crunch position, 90 degrees. Rotate left elbow to right knee. Bring it back, cross, back, back, cross. And I continue in a bicycle motion throughout. Keeping my form and pull tight. Again, 10 to the right, 10 to the left, three sets. Finish off, go into a flexibility section. First one would be quite a little bit of a different one. It's also gonna be on hips, glutes, and our quads. I'm gonna go feet, shoulder width apart. I'm gonna push my bum back into a squat, and I'm gonna really sit in a really low squat. You see there is a slight arch in my back, but I'm just gonna sit in this position. Often can be a little bit uncomfortable, so if it's quite uncomfortable, we're gonna slightly go wider with our feet, lower ourselves to the ground, and just hold that. We're going to try and work between holding 30 to 45 seconds, just really working through that, working the hips, and just releasing a lot of tension, slowly coming up. As much as possible, trying to drive the hips back. We're then going to work through a quad stretch. We're going to go with 90 degrees like we're doing a hip flexor stretch. Grab one leg and then hold in that position nice and tall. We're going to do a good stretch in the quad. Nice and tall, breathing, keeping your balance if you need to. Put one arm out. And the final one will be a cobra stretch. For our lower back, we're going to lie down flat, arms out. And what we're going to do is we slowly work towards pushing away from the floor, and stretching our back, coming back down. Trying not to jerk up, but not slowly rise up as if you're a cobra, releasing all the tension in that lower back. Excellent stuff, that would make part, part two. Enjoy, we'll see you part three.